I have your Greater Boulder Real Estate Update for the beginning of 2022. And if you would like to know how those incredibly unfortunate Boulder fires from December 30th, 2021 affect our real estate market, I'll also go over that. And we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Marilyn Ackerman with HomeSmart Realty. For those of you interested in Boulder and Longmont homes for sale, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Greater Boulder Longmont Colorado Home. Now the Marshall fires destroyed somewhere between 600 and 1,000 homes in Boulder County recently, but thankfully no fatalities had been reported as of this recording. It's quite a shock for this community and I want to focus on how this affects the entire county in regards to supply and home values. To predict where home values are going in the future, let's look at three examples of communities that had incredible devastation by fires or floods. First, in August of 2021, the Lake Tahoe area experienced massive fires for nearly two weeks, destroying about 660 homes. Also, thousands of acres of beautiful forested mountainsides were burned. Lake Tahoe home values were skyrocketing up prior to this. And what happened after this? The prices of homes kept going up. Homes in Lake Tahoe continued their upward trajectory up 4% on average from September 21, right after the fires, to the end of the year. Next, the Granby area in Colorado with gorgeous neighborhoods near Grand Lake had about 300 homes destroyed by the East Troublesome Fire in November of 2020. What happened to home values was that they continued to rise and they rose very sharply. Some people will move away for good after a major fire destroys their neighborhood, and some will stay and rebuild. It's an emotional and financial decision for people. A final example of an area that had great devastation after a natural disaster is Lyons, Colorado, and the 500-year flood that occurred in 2013. Now, Lyons had 75 homes destroyed. To put this in perspective, Lyons has a population of 2,033 people. So that was very significant. It took well over a year, and in some cases, several years, to rebuild the home. So what happened to Lyons home values? They rose the same as other nearby areas that weren't affected by the flood. Based on these examples, we can expect homes to keep going up in the southern end of Boulder County where the fires were. New and existing home inventory is so low. There were 600 to 1,000 homes destroyed on December 30th in the Boulder County fire. What if every one of those families decide to buy a replacement home in the area right now? Let's just take this as a hypothetical situation. Well, inventory is so tight that they couldn't do it. Within a 20 mile radius of Louisville, Colorado, this includes most of Denver, all of Boulder, all of Longmont, there are currently 249 homes, including condos, for sale on the MLS that have three bedrooms, two baths, and two car garages that are under $1 million. This means that people who lost their homes may not be able to find comparable homes in the area. Here's how fast Longmont Homes, Louisville Homes, Boulder Homes, Superior Homes, and Lafayette Homes have been selling by price range and for how much over the asking price since November 2021. For homes priced at $500,000 or less, they have sold for 102.6% of the list price on average, with the number of days until going under contract an average of 25 days. Homes listed between $500,000 and $600,000 sold for an average of 103.9% of their list price, with an average of 23 days before going under contract. Homes listed between $600,000 and $700,000 sold for an average of 103.8% of the list price, with an average of 26 days until going under contract. Homes listed between $700,000 and $800,000 sold for an average of 102.1% of their list price, with an average of 27 days before going under contract. Homes listed between $800,000 and $1 million sold for an average of 102.9% of their list price with an average of 17 days until going under contract. 
And the most bid up sector of this market is homes listed between $1 million and $1.5 million, which are selling for an average of 105.2% of list price with an average days until going under contract of only 23. Oh, my heart goes out to people affected by those Marshall fires. The images are just so devastating. And of course, now they are starting to let people in and people can see actually if they still have a home that's standing. So, oh, my prayers are with you. And if your loved ones were affected by that, I'm thinking about you. God bless.